No changes to Singapore's community restrictions for now. I know this will come as a relief for too, too many of us as we and the rest of the world wait for new developments on the new Micron COVID-19 variant. So far, no cases of the recently discovered variant have been found here out of the 174 people tested. With the exception of the three VTLs for Qatar, Saudi Arabia and the UAE, all other VTLs will proceed, including the six planned for December. However, as the task force revealed today, Singapore will strengthen its defences against imported risks like with on-arrival PCR tests for all travellers as well as PCR rostered routine testing for airport and other border frontline workers. Quite simply, which much still non, not known about Omicron, Singapore is monitoring the overseas situation very closely and will be quick to respond if necessary. It's too early to tell at this stage because we really do not know enough about this new virus. So for now, what we are doing is to take additional steps to strengthen our border measures. And we are not doing anything with regard to local measures at this time. We need to have the mindset of being adaptable and nimble, recognizing that the virus you know, will there will be new threats, there will be new information, and as, the, as in this rapidly changing environment, we will have to constantly review and update our measures accordingly, based on new information. And according to Health Minister Ong Yi Kang, Singapore's current situation can be compared to a game of snakes and ladders. Usually we want to use analogies during the task Task Force press conference, Mr. Ong has previously likened to what we're going through to riding a bicycle down slope. The situation we are facing is a bit like a game of snakes and ladders. We don't know what's the next throw of the dice and which square we will land in. If Omicron is more infectious, more harmful, and the vaccines don't work very well against it, then we have stepped on the snake square and we'll go down and this will set us back by a long way. If Omicron is more infectious but turn out milder, then in time, a less harmful virus may dominate over Delta. And that is actually a positive development. Then we would have landed on the ladder square and maybe even take a leap forward in our transition to living with COVID-19. Many scientists, in fact, believe this is actually one possible natural evolutionary direction of viruses. Or it may be just another variant that makes no great impact. You land on a boring square and we continue our current path to transit to living with COVID-19 as a resilient nation.